Gateway 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, so we are already bundled up, but I need to know how long is these cool temperatures going to last? So it's a kind of an interesting <laughs> question. You didn't you make sighed. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> God, you asked. So we're very cold this whole weekend, right? Sunday afternoon, we're right. a little bit warmer. Monday, we're downright warm, well above average, but then we really cool off for the rest of next week. So a little bit of that up and down as to be expected in Alabama, but for the most part, the cooler weather is ours to keep. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Take a look outside right now. The sights are beautiful. The weather is a lot less beautiful. Talking about 49 in the Rocket City right now, a whole lot of sunshine, but but we're feeling like the mid 40s. We're still experiencing a pretty significant wind chill. 45 right now in Albertville, feeling like 39. You haven't even made it out of the 30s yet in Albertville. Again, you're seeing a strong wind, and that's kind of been the case all day. So the sights are really pretty, but the only way you're going to enjoy your time outside is if you bundle up before you head outdoors. We're back in the green on the threat tracker today. I had us in a caution day early this morning. It was more so a caution morning. Just a few of us were waking up to frost. Now that's all out of the way. So we're cold, but we're in the green. Tomorrow, we do actually have a freeze watch in effect. So many of us will end up with a very light covering of frost, and that's putting us back in a caution day. 1121 on your Friday, and 31 triple Doppler looks great. A few of those pockets of very, very isolated cloud cover. But for the most part, it is sunshine and a whole lot of wind that's sticking around for the rest of the day today. Our high temperature 52 at 3 o'clock will still be feeling for the most part in the 40s thanks to those wind chills. Some of us are actually going to feel like the low 50s, but the vast majority you're still going to be feeling like the upper 40s, meaning it's going to be pretty cold all day long. By the time we get to this evening, whether you're headed out for a Friday night football or just to hang out with your family and friends and usher in the weekend, we're sitting in the mid and lower 40s at that point, meaning we're feeling like the low 40s and upper 30s. So whatever you're you're doing tonight. I hope your attire has something wool thrown on top of it so that you can stay warm. Overnight tonight, starting at midnight and lasting through 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, both a freeze watch and a freeze warning in effect for our area. That warning is that darker purple color for our southern counties. All of you are going to see pretty significant frost tomorrow morning, similar to what you saw today, just a little bit more. The freeze watch in effect for in our northern counties, all of us are going to see a little something, but it's going to be a very, very light layer of frost. We're not talking about a hard freeze. So nobody needs to drip their pipes, but we all need to bring our pets and plants inside. We're waking up at 34 tomorrow, so well inside that frost and freeze potential. Some of us will even be sitting below freezing, quite similar to how we were today. Now there's good and bad news. We have less wind overnight. That means more frost will accumulate. We also have less wind during the day, and that means we won't have as severe of a wind chill factor that we have to put into our forecast. So that's good news. Sunday morning we're at 36, so one or two pockets of frost will develop, but we're going to see a whole lot less than what we'll end up seeing Saturday morning. And the afternoons follow suit. Saturday cooler than Sunday. Both days bring sunshine. Sunday, if you ask me, really takes the cake. 65 degrees and sunny. It's going to be absolutely stunning. A whole lot of rain moves into the forecast Monday night, just a little bit before sunset. Plenty more in the overnight hours at the moment. Not at all looking severe. And then Thanksgiving Thursday seems to bring a whole lot of rain our way. Now that system is still almost a full week away. So check back in with me Tuesday morning. Check back in with Amber and Jeff throughout the week and we'll make sure you have the most updated future radar outlook for your turkey day. At the moment it looks scattered on again off again all throughout your Thursday. But again we're still talking a system that's six days away so we're still completely fine-tuning that timing. I hear you but I just keep looking at those rain chances going up on Thanksgiving <laughs> and it just keeps breaking my heart. <laughs> but it's okay though. It's okay. <laughs> okay I guess I'll take a little rain with my dressing huh? There you go. <laughs> You can still have the cranberry sauce with the lines while it's raining outside. Oh, that's matter. the only way to have it. If it doesn't have lines, I'm not eating it. Me too. They're mm -hmm. like, fresh is better. I'm like, no, I need the can. <laughs> All the preservatives. What you're talking about. <laughs> well, thank you, Grace. <laughs>